then we have the liability. So, kung ganiha, we have the economic resource uh, controlled by the entity. This one is an obligation. Okay, naatay tulubagon. Wherein, we're going to transfer an economic resource as a result of a past event. If you can recall, obligation is a duty or responsibility that an entity has no practical ability to avoid. And the same with the asset, it can be classified as current and non-current. If we're going to classify it as current, the following, any of the following should uh, be present. The, the entity is expected to settle the liability within the entity's normal operating cycle. So again, if the normal operating cy cycle is not clearly identifiable, we will use 12 months. So for example, balik ka sa example na ako ganiha. The end of the reporting period or, for example, the end of the normal operating cycle is December 31, 2020. And ang atong utang bayaran nato siya o March 1, 2021. So, account ni mo from December 31, 2020 until March 1, 2021. So, that would be two months. So, meaning... Um, nasood siya sa operating cycle. So, naan siya diri. Liability is due to be settled within 12 months after the reporting period. So, kung ang end of the operating cycle or end of the reporting period na to again is December 31, 2020 and then bayaran na to ang utang March 1, 2021. So, nasood siya sa 12 months or nasood siya sa normal operating cycle then it becomes current liabilities. But what if ang utang kay bayaran siya o June 1, 2022. So, i-count mo from December 31, 2020 until June 1, 2022. Pina naman na kabulan. So, the entire 2021 is 12 months. For 2022, so mag-count ka March, 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 you know, January, February, March, April, May, yan, June. So, 5 months. Sakto ba? 5 months. January, February, March, April, May, yan, June 1 month. So, 5 months plus 12 sa 2021. So, 17 months. So, nilapas na siya o 12 months. So, therefore, katong bayro na to nga para June 1, 2022 is considered as non-current liability for the reason nga nilapas na siya o 12 months or nilapas na siya sa normal operating cycle from the end of the reporting period. Then, another would be entity holds the liability primarily for the purpose of trading and the entity does not have unconditional right to defer settlement of the liability for at least 12 months after the reporting period. So, pasabot ani ang entity katong nakautang wala siya'y right unconditional right wala siya'y katungod para magpaunya-unya o bayad so wala sa wala sa yang kamot ang pagbuot kung pwede siyang magdelay o bayad or delay so dili niya na control so ma mapugos siya og bayad according sa naagrihan nila sa iyahang uh, lender or creditor so, kung mobayad yun siya dapat within 12 months, so matawag yun siyang current liabilities. Pero pag naa siya conditional, ay, na, sorry, naa siya unconditional, na ay unconditional, right? So, pwede siya makabuot ka sa niya bayaran. So, it does, eh, it fails to meet this requirement nga dapat walay unconditional, right? Kaya kung naa siya unconditional right. So, meaning, X na to siya. So, dili siya matawag na current liability. Again, ang requirement is does not have unconditional right to defer settlement. So, what are the items that will belong to the current liabilities? So, we have trade and other payables. So, mauni siya ang collective na term for the accounts payable, notes payable, accrued interest, dividends, accrued expense. So, kananga grupo, mabilong na siya ang trade and other payables. Then, we have the current provisions. So, included here to mga warranties. Um may pinaka-common katong mga coupons so warranty nga naman mag-provide man ka for uh, future nga mga claims on warranty and then we have the short term borrowing 
current portion of long-term debt, and then you have the current tax liability. So, so may pasabot the current portion of the long-term debt. Because pag mangutang ta, nga pang long-term, like for example, you're going to pay that within within 10 years nga installment, Diba? Dahil 10 million, bayaran mo siya for 10 years. So, therefore, na 1 million nga bayaran per year. So, what if na anak kay bayaran next year nga 1 million? So, kung bayaran mo siya sa sud sa 12 months, so, ang 1 million is matawag siya current portion. And then, the remaining nga 9 million, panangitan 10 million ng utang, yan, na kay Bailon nun, next year, kaya di ba tingi-tingi man siya, so na ay first installment ng 1 million. So, katong first installment ng 1 million would be current portion. And the remaining 9 million, katong bayaran pa in the next years pa, beyond 12 months, so mato siya ang non-current portion. Okay? Then, kani, pila ato ang mayroon nun sa tax for the current year. And the same with the non-current assets, all other liabilities which are not part of the current liabilities will fall under non-current liabilities. And the main line items would be non-current portion of the long-term debt, finance lease liability, deferred tax liability, long-term obligations to company officers, long-term deferred revenue. And again, all of these items, we you will get to know them in the intermediate accounting subject. If you like this video, don't forget to click like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell to be updated with the latest video lessons. Thank you for watching!